Hi YouTube, are you fed up with bumps and irritated skin after shaving or do you really like getting a hot towel service at a barber shop but you don't go very often because it's expensive? If you said yes to either of these questions, then this is the video for you. I used to dread having to shave because for the next few days I'd have irritated skin, which is not only uncomfortable, but I'd feel really self-conscious about having red spots all over my neck. A few years ago, I discovered a process for shaving which eliminated irritation for me altogether. It's pretty similar to what you would experience during a hot towel service at a barber shop. The secret behind it all is preparing your skin properly before the shave and also applying a treatment to it afterwards. Today, I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. Let's get started. First, I'm going to take this small towel and soak it in the hottest water that comes out of my sink. After wringing out some of the water, I'll press it against my face for about 30 seconds. I'd recommend a regular type of towel over something like a dishcloth because those are less absorbent and so they'll retain less water and cool down too fast. The next steps you'll want to go through without delay so that your face doesn't cool down too much. I'm taking a shave brush, dampening it with hot water, and then adding some shaving cream. You can use a shaving dish, but I just start mixing it right on my face. I don't recommend using any shaving cream that comes out of a can because it comes out cold and it will undo the last step that we just did with the towel. Now I can start shaving. I do have a straight razor, but I don't use it too often because it takes about twice as long to shave with it and I don't always have time for that. I never shave against the direction of my facial hair growth because the few hours of being extra baby smooth is not worth the irritation afterwards. If you have irritation in a specific area, then pay attention to what direction those hairs are coming out of your skin and be sure not to shave in the opposite direction. What you don't see from this angle is that I'm cleaning off the razor with hot water each time you see it going off screen. Otherwise, I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary here, so there's not much to explain. I'll take a look to see if I've missed any spots. If I have, then there's always some extra shaving cream on the brush, so I'll reapply and go in for round two. Alright, everything looks good so far. Now, I'll take the same towel from before and soak it in the coldest water that comes out of my tap, and also apply it for about 30 seconds to my facial hair area. This is a bit of an unpleasant shock for the first couple of seconds, but this is an important step for your skin, which does the same thing as a traditional alcohol treatment, but is gentler on the face. Lastly, I'll apply some post-shaved balm which has some calming plant-based ingredients to help soothe and moisturize my skin. All the products that I use today other than the Gillette razor are from a company called Blue Beard's Revenge. This isn't a sponsored video, this is just what I happen to have in my cabinet today. I hope that if you try this out that this process was as foolproof for you as it was for me. And I'd love it if you let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.